Hi guys, and welcome to a brand new Let's Play. Something a little different uh, from me, uh, which I don't usually do, but screw it, let's do it. I got this game today, so why not? Anyway, I'm Mastrath, and I welcome you to this. OG Games, I think, presents, alongside the pro professional Darts Corporation and Readout. Uh, you should have done that the other way around. It would have looked a lot cooler, just saying Readout. Probably never play another one of your games, but regardless, welcome, folks, to the PDC World Championship Darts Pro Tour, a game made in 2010 uh, for the Xbox 360 and also the Sony PlayStation 3. I'm just going to move my uh, phone out of the way first because the last thing I want is any interference, phone. I know what you'll like. Get over there. Right, so, uh, this game is a European exclusive. So, uh, yeah, uh, North America, Japan, Australia, you guys didn't get this, but uh, Europe did. Most because Europe is, Europe loves darts. So, darts, for people who don't know, is a very popular uh, sort of pub game alongside pool and losing all your money on fruit machines. But regardless, Darts is a very fun game, and I will go through the rules of darts as we're playing. So, for people who don't know how to play uh, how to play darts, then don't worry about it. I will I will guide you through it. Um, I played a lot of darts in my younger years, uh, usually my teenage years. I go down to my local social club uh, and play darts with a couple of friends of mine. I still have actually my own set of darts, but I haven't used them in years, probably about five or six years. Uh, but it's always something fun to play. You know, sort of wells away the time a little bit and everything. It's great! Anyway, so, in this we'll be playing the career mode. But first off, I want to show off my character that I've already made. There he is! Look at this guy. So, I've got everything spot on. Apart from my age, which would probably be there. Sorry, I'll put it down as 26, because the future! Uh, but I'm 25 when I'm recording this video, but I turned 26 in just over two months, and... This video will be coming out when I'm probably nearly 27. So, anyway. So, yeah, everything's pretty much about right. That kind of looks like me, only it need he needs a bigger beard and probably be about five inches shorter. And you've probably got him bang on there. Um, so that's all good. Actually, no, no, no. I found out recently my eye color is actually gray, not blue. So, there we go. That's more like it. Yep, gray. <laughs> It'd be, it'd be odd if grey was locked. Because there are some things that are locked in this game. Like, for example, these hairstyles. Like this one. No. Also, if people don't know, I'm actually left-handed. So, I also play darts left-handed. Even though I play pool right-handed, I can play guitar right-handed as well. It's a nice little ambidextrous thing. So, yes, I am the asshole that if I was to ever play on a big stage like the PDC... I would be one of those gits turning their backs to the camera. They'd have to change their camera angle. Or just be annoying. Look at my merch shirt. Great. Um, so obviously I wear glasses and everything. And darts. I've just gone for a lovely Diablo dart and everything. It looks kind of cool. I like it. And the throw angle is high because, well, I am short. So I need to throw high first to actually make it on the board. So with that out of the way, it's time for a career mode. Create our profile. Now we can play as all of these lovely characters, including Raymond Van Barneveld, one of my favorite uh, darts players. Uh, James Wade. Can't wait to play him, uh, just so I can nine dart finish him. We'll get into what that means later. Uh, Terry Jenkins. Great. Ronnie Baxter, Adrian Lewis, uh, Colin Osborne, Dennis, Dennis Priestley's in this as well. Simon Whitlock. There he is. See, like, look, why? Look, Simon Whitlock has got a beard, right? And do you know what? He grew that beard out as well. He had a massive beard at one point. You know, it's like, he has a beard. Why can't I have a beard? Like, seriously, he's the only guy here that's got a full beard. Well, I don't know, Mervyn King, that's just a moustache. So, no, Mervyn King, maybe a little bit. But anyway, so look at all these characters we can play as, including Phil the Overpowered Taylor. I don't say that out of malice, but I can certainly say that if you do play as Phil Taylor in this game, you are on easy mode. So, we're going to be playing as us here. Our rank is nothing. Our 
stars are about halfway there. Very nice, fair enough. And we do not have a dart average yet. We'll get into what that means later. So, here are our statistics. We have done nothing so far. Apparently, we've thrown three darts already. Apparently. Okay. Anyway, so we have been given a lovely tour card from the Professional Darts Corporation uh, to play in, well, the PDC. So let's go to our event calendar, and uh, the first one we've got here is the UK Open. Uh, the match type is a standard 501 start. Uh, the prize fund, if we win, is £200,000. Number of rounds is six. Preset entry required. It's completely open. Some of these need to be at a specific rank to play them. So at the moment, all I can play is the UK Open. Um, and the season is 2010. So this is the 2010 season. I am ranked 64 at the moment, like the lowest rank there is. Um, however, my aim in this Let's Play is to get to rank number one. And then I'll finish the Let's Play. I'll finish the Let's Play once I get to rank one. So there we go. That's what we're doing this, because this is going to take a while. So there we go. Anyway, UK Open. So, round one. We have so many players here. Look at this, like Felix McBet McBrap. Bratty. Felix McBratty. We have him. Dennis Ovens as well. We're actually up against Mark Dudbridge. I don't know if these players are actually real or not, because I know that... The, ugh, I've played games where... Okay, okay. Maybe they are real, because I definitely know Brendan Doolan and Mark Webster. Uh, oh, and Co Stompy, obviously. And uh, Everyone knows Co Stompy. Co Stompy's great. And Vincent van der Va Voort. Sorry, van der Vaart. Van der Voort. Um, anyway, so we are currently going to skip... Well, van der Voort just crushed Darren Johnson, who is ranked 69. He's actually lower than we are, so we're not the lowest. Let's play through all these and see if anyone got their ass kicked by one of the... Uh, by one of the uh, soon-to-be-unlocked-looking guys. Uh... Any, any shockers here? I don't see any so far. Well, Ronnie Baxter and Simon Whitlock fought in the first round. That was that was nice of him, I guess. No. Oh, Barney got six and zero. That's not surprising at all. Wow, Wayne Mardle. Immediately out, Mark Walsh beat him. Fair enough. And I think that's the only one. Yeah. Okay, cool. How did Phil the overpowered Taylor do? Yeah. Oh, wow! Michael Van Gerwen's in this as well. Michael Van Gerwen's actually a really good darts player. Really good. At the time of recording this, which is before the 2019 PDC World Darts Championship, Michael Van Gerwen is the world champion at this point. So, there we go. But yeah, he got crushed by Phil the Overpowered Taylor. Anyway, so our first opponent is Mark Dudbridge. His rank, he's ranked 23. We are ranked 64. So, it would be good if we could actually win this. Best of one set, best of 11 legs. So, it's best of 11 legs. First to six legs wins. And we are playing up north in Bolton. Okay. No one wants to go on off uh, assist settings, because that's dumb. But anyway. Ladies and gentlemen. Being followed by two Kim Kardashians from the look of it. Seriously, the models of the men look alright, but... The walk-on girls that don't exist anymore because feminism, Ray... Challenging him. I don't know. The same ones? Maybe they're both twins, I don't know. Or they can run really fast. Regardless, I walk in. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> look at me walk in. Sorry, but Sid Waddell has gone off sick for this Let's Play. Uh, you'll get me instead. Because I know how annoying commentary can be sometimes in Let's Plays. 
Uh, but Sid Waddell is a very funny commentator. He's a northerner and he's... Well, northerners are just funny, aren't they? You know, they are. Also, this guy just got his ass kicked. Wow. That was a total of seven there. Good job, mate. So, I might as well go through the rules of darts now. So, an ordinary darts game starts off with, uh, with both players at a 501. That's the amount of points they need to get to win the leg. So, here is a darts board. Looks great, doesn't it? It's a nice looking dart board, actually, for 2010. But anyway, so they've got all the numbers on it, ranked from 1 to 20 here. And you can, well, you can obviously hit all these and get that certain point. Um, the maximum you can get in three darts is 180. Uh, which means you need to hit three treble 20s. Uh, both players get three darts to throw uh, each round and it alternates. Um, so, these bits around the side here that I'm trying to show off, like these, these bits here. Uh, this is a single. This in the inner ring is also a single. So there we go. Uh, the ring on the outside here is the double. So uh, if you hit, like, let's say if I was to hit a uh, double nine, or if I hit the nine there, then that is 18. This is a treble. The inner ring here is a treble. So uh, yes, that is how you can get treble 20. You just get three of these, and that's 1A, the highest score you can get on three darts. Right, now we get to these two. So the green ring here is 25, because the middle ring, which is in red, is the bullseye, worth 50. Also, uh, to win a leg, you have to double out. Now, what? well, most of the time it's double out. That means you need to hit a double to finish, or you can hit a bullseye to finish. And I think that is how, uh, that is how darts work, so there we go. Um, so yes, the lowest, uh, the lowest amount of darts you can, um, pl uh, you can throw, uh, to win a, or to win a leg from 501 is nine. It's known as a nine dart finish, uh, which requires treble 20, treble 20, treble 20 on your first throw, treble 20, treble 20, treble 20 on your second throw. You can also do treble 20, treble 20, treble 19, I think as well. Uh, but anyway, but then I think you have like 141 or 144 left. So 141, you need treble 20, treble 19, double 12. And for a 144, it's treble 20, treble 20, double 12. So hopefully I'm going to be getting a 9 dar here, but let's, let's get into it. So seriously, you can play this game with one hand if you wanted to, if you're really good at it. So you can control with the uh, directional button or with the, the, with the control stick. Um, and how you throw is you press one of the two bumpers, or L1 and R1, which gives us this lovely thing here. So, we have to go backwards on the control stick now, and it's locked in place, which is very nice. And then we move it forwards, and as you can see, there's a power meter there. We want to try and get the power meter in, the, in that red circle there to get the, uh, to get the result we want. Oh, yeah, kind of like that. That's there. That's, that's a triple 20. So, there we go. First treble 20. Second treble 20. And I've turned vibrations off because that is really annoying. Because uh, there's a heartbeat and it'll try and just throw you off. Not this time though. 180 to kick off. There you go. 180 to kick off against old Mr. Dubbridge. Also, oh, you can press X to celebrate. Which, am I celebrating? Yes, I'm here. Look at him. Yeah. Right, so Mr. Dudbridge is already way behind. Ooh. He may actually get a 180 here, though. He doesn't. He gets a 121. That's a bit of a shame. So, we're on, we're on the we're on curve at the moment for a 9-dart finish in the first leg. That'd be a great start to our PDC career, wouldn't it? Ah, well, it's not going to happen because I missed it. So, yeah, if you go further than the uh, circle, it'll go below where you want it to be. But if you go higher... It'll go, obviously, higher than it wants to be. A 140 is nice uh, for a second set of darts. Not bad. I put it on 181. You can't out at 181. The highest out you can do is 170, uh, which is treble 20, treble 20, bullseye. So that'd be 60, 60, and 50. You do the math. So there we go. So at the moment, we're doing pretty good so far. Also, we're against the throw. So... 
That little sort of red dot on Dudbridge's uh, name uh, means that he threw first. And it's known as against the throw or against the play or against the dart. Or however you want to call it. But pretty much that means that he's more likely to win because he threw first. Um, so, yeah. Even if we... Even if he outs on the same amount of... Or with a little bit... Oh, I, I'm just getting onto a tangent now. So, 181. It's a good start. That's not so good. Right, so I could whack in another... Um, I could whack in another treble 20 here and get one... Like, under... Yeah, you know, good stuff. Very good stuff. But what I'm actually going to try and do is I'm going to try and get bullseye to, to, to win. So... I'm going to try double, uh, triple 17 here. Now, as you can see, it's it's changed. It's changed where it is, and I missed it. But the, the, the dot changes where it is, depending on where you throw. So you've got to get very, very skilled at this. But at the moment, I don't see any problems here, because uh, Mr. Dudbridge needs another treble. He didn't get it. Right, so I have six darts at outing here, and getting the first leg on the board. So, it gives us an idea of what we need to do. So, treble 16, which is here. Missed it. Okay, treble 18, double 7, I could go for. Uh, I think I'm just going to go 18 here, actually. I'm going to go 18s and hope for bullseye. Where's 18? Ah, there it is. Let's go single 18. There we go. Right, so with 50 left, I need a bullseye to, to finish off and win the first leg. Oh, and he gets it. And there you go, first leg to me, and this is how it runs. Look at that, just soaring through the sky. So, uh, player's turn alternates. Now it's my turn to throw first. And that's a treble 20 to immediately kick off. Followed by another. So, depending on how uh, sort of vigorously you th you uh, move the control stick, is how vigorously you uh, can lob the dart. Well, that's a 140. That's pretty. That's a decent start here against Mr. Dudbridge. Oh, who's way high there on that one? Ah, there's one. Can you get another? 81. Nope. <laughs> he hits a one. So. Obviously, the only number from 501 to 0 that you can't technically ha that you can't have is obviously 1. Because well, you can't out on a 1. Because you can't... There's, there's no 0.5 on the board to double out on. Um, so, yeah. Uh, but on 2, you need to hit double 1. So if you hit anything else other than double 1, you bust. Uh, so if you hit higher than the amount you need, you bust, which means you lose your turn. 100. No one wants that. Also, double one, if you need to finish on, you need to finish double one because you've only got two points, is known as the Madhouse, and it is horrible to play, and it makes games last so long. Trust me, I've had a couple of Madhouses in my time. I've also had a lot of matches which both players have 100. needed double one to win. Which is very awkward. Uh, the other way that you can actually start a game, which is in this game actually, which is double in. Which means you need to hit a double first before you can score. Uh, this is not one of them, this is just basic darts. So there we go. Some people do uh, double ins sometimes, and I understand that, but I also say no. Because I'm not very good at doing those. Alright, that's not good. Alright, treble 17 for bullseye. Here we go again with treble 17. Hits it! Bullseye for the second leg here. Hits it! And that is two! And again, it, it's bullseye again for the finish. Getting some pretty decent out so far. Right, now it's Dudbridge to throw first. Ooh, first start was good, second start not so much. That's a triple five. Good recovery, though. That's 135 scored. Which, out of a max 180, pretty decent. Good first start, though. From me. Good second start from me. Oh, could this be another 180? 
Oh, it is! <laughs> oh, yes! Do your Bruce Forsyth impression, mate. Go ahead. Let's meet the Jajish. Rest in peace, Bruce. At least you got united before that, though. Which I was campaigning for for years, damn it. Years. Oh, wow. He is having a nightmare. God, Dudbridge is just being a dud. There you go. That's better. That's better. But he's against... I'm against the throw. And I'm only, like... Oh, math. Like, what? Four, like, 17 points behind? And I still have three darts to throw. And that one is a treble 20. That one's not a treble 20. That one's a bit high. But oh well. That one is, though. That's a one... Port hair. Port hair. Very nice. Let's move on. Stop hitting ones, mate. Yeah, you... Ooh, you are right, mate? Did you, did you have too many beers last night? So, back in the day, like, sort of 2000s and stuff, a lot of darts players, sort of similar to a lot of snooker players, used to actually drink when they played. Because, you know, it's probably what they've been used to and everything, playing darts in pubs. But, yeah, now so everyone's sort of, like, trying to get sort of very healthy and drinking things like water and everything. Right, that's a 100. That's not the best, but it leaves you on an 81 out. And if Dudbridge can't get a good score here, that's not a good start. 20's not enough. Nor is that. 60. Nope. All right, I got six darts to finish again. 81. Treble 19 seems like the order of the day here. I'm never good at hitting treble 19. Real life, I'm actually alright at hitting treble 19, but not this. Right, treble 12. Leaves double 13. Treble 12 is hit. Double 13, which is over here. It's actually a pretty nice double double 13. Even in this game, it's pretty nice. There you go. And three legs to zero. Yeah. It's my turn to throw now. That's a 20. That's another 20. Oh, squeeze that one in, though. That's a 100. It's an all right start. Usually, if it's 100 or higher, it's a decent throw. <sighs> Unlike Mr. Dudbridge, who has hit 21 so far. Ouch. Ouch. I am playing at a way higher level. I'm playing at a way higher level for my ranking. That is not good, though. That's better. Let's move it a little bit. Oh, squeeze that one in. 140, though. Good. Don't bloody stab me with them. Get. I got out of the way. That's fine. Don't ruin my lovely head. Oh, he might actually get... 180 here. Nope. Is anyone surprised at this point? Mr. Dudbridge? No 100. No, no, no 180. Oh, that was awful. Oof. Released a bit too quick there. Oh, I overshot it now. Spot on. There you go. So it does take a while for me to get my eye in. I have, I have done a couple of nine dart finishes in this game already. And I've only been playing the game for about three hours. But... It's all good. It's all gravy. Right. 161. 161 is an out, if I remember correctly. It is. Treble 20 is up first. Got it. Treble 17, which is here. Ah, oh, missed it. Leaves me on 84. Might as well go back to the top. Here to 20. I've got another th uh, three darts at this at least. Maybe more if Mr. Dudbridge messes up. And he is messing up badly. Very badly so far. Good recovery. Fair enough. Mm. Not so good. Right. 64. For the, for the fourth leg in a row, it's treble 14. Missed it. Wrong bed. Nine I got. So 15 is next. Got it. 
Double top. Double 20. Got it. Thank you. Fourth leg. Nice. Okay, come on, Mr. Dubbridge. What do you got? How can you recover from that? Well, you hit a one. Well done, mate. Well done, mate. Well done, mate. Good job. Yeah. Bloody Dubbridge. 81. So he's apparently hit more 100 pluses than me, but the reason is because I've been hitting 140s, which is completely different, which is a completely different category. We're getting stats later, but it, that, that, so that, there's, a, there's, there's a lovely start. That's not so good. But uh, is this going to be another 140? Uh, well, yes. Yes, it is. I've hit 640 so far. He has hit one. Just saying. Just saying, mate. Come on. Oh, God. No. Don't stop being so bad. How? How are you this bad? You have been able to get about 110 in six darts, and I got 140 in half that amount. Time to punish him with some good throws. That's a good second throw. On a good third throw. Squeezing that in. Very nice. 221 to go. And he's stuck on nearly 400. Oh, God. Being bad. Stop it. God, he's got 10. 70. Thank you. All right. Well done on your treble 20. Good job, mate. Thank you. It's not like it's that difficult to do. There's one. That's not one. Uh, I might as well go for, uh, I know, another 140. 100. Eh, 100. I'll take it. He's on 322, two, and I'm on 121. I'm not really sweating losing this leg right now, but he may get a 180. Nope, a 140 though. It's his second 140 of the match. Fair play to him, I guess. So treble 20 is the order of the day. Gets it. Treble 11. It's double 14. That's pretty swanky. Oh, missed. Wrong bed again. Right, 19. I feel like I'm gonna go three here, because then I'm on I'm on the lovely bit. I'm on the lovely bit, because that leaves 16. So that's double eight, double four, double two, double one if I need it. He can't out on 182, so I'm fine. I will definitely have three darts at this. It's gonna be a long first part, folks, but uh, you know, a lot of it was explaining darts, so there we go. And also I want to get this first match out of the way. Okay, double eight, which is over here. Double eight. Hits it. And that is penultimate uh, leg. And we have the throw for what possibly could be the final leg of this first match. That is not a good start. Nor is that. Come on. Oh, 60. Not a good start. It's probably the first time I've hit 60 in this match so far. And he hit that in one dart. Oh, he's coming back. Oh, my God. Dudbridge. Dudbridge is fighting right back in this with a 121. Need to get back in this. Good first dart. Good second dart. Yes. <laughs> 180. Thank you very much. Yes, I'm very happy about that. Yeah! Celebrate! Time to celebrate. So, best of 11, so we need to win six. <laughs> and Dudbridge, after that amazing start, is now hitting hundreds, and I have regained the lead. That's one. Four perfect darts in a row. Five perfect darts in a row. Six perfect darts in a row. 180 once again. You just can't stop the man in blue and lighter blue. 81 to finish. And he is just 
folding. Folding right now is Mr. Dudbridge. Folding. My best finish has been 121. Right, 81 to finish. Right, treble 19 to kick things off. There's treble 19. Got it. Double 12. For the whitewash. <laughs> and with that, we win. Mr. Dudbridge, nice seeing you. Goodbye. 6 0. We destroyed Mark Dudbridge. His, his, three, his three average dart, his three dart average was 78. 78. I hit 700 pluses that weren't 140s or above. I hit seven 140s and above, which weren't 180s, and 480s. Very nice. My average finish was 121. Very good. And my dot average was 120.24, which would have been a televised record until Michael Van Gogh smashed it a couple of years ago. So, fair enough. It beat the old record, at least. It certainly beat the record of when this game came out. So, I'll say that was quite nice. Anyway, guys, a long first part, but we have made it through to the next round where we will be going up against Jihon Artut. How did he make it through the first round? We're going to be facing this guy. It's the best of 17 legs this time for one set. Best of one set. So that means we need to get eight. No, nine actually, so, ugh, math. So we need nine. Nine legs wins it, so, you know, nearly, what? So much more than what we had before. So anyway, guys, I will see you in the next episode of Let's Play the PDC Pro Tour. I'll see you then.